In this video, we're going to look at how we can filter the data in Microsoft Clarity by the Clarity user ID. Now this is an ID that is assigned to each visitor when they come to your site. And so when the sort of the visit recording is tracked, then there's an ID that's associated with it. So if we go ahead and click on filters, we can see here that there's this filter for Clarity user ID. And if we hover over, we can see again, the ID is assigned to each visitor by Clarity and it can be found under details for each recording. So if we go ahead and we cancel this and we go and actually look in some recordings, so if we just pick the first one, then we can look at more details. So if we look at more details, we can see here that there is this user ID that is tied to this specific recording or this specific session. So if I was to go ahead and copy that and then click on filters and then I was to paste it in here. So now I've added that as a filter and I apply it then we can see that it's only showing that or any other possible sessions for that specific ID. Now that's all well and good because I can go ahead and I can click on a recording and getting it, get it, but likely I'm not necessarily going to be able to find the right recording to find the right ID in order to then filter. So what I can do is if the Google Analytics integration has been set up, and there's a video within this playlist and also a blog on my website, meganvwalker.com, that will show you how to do that. But once you've done that and you've got this Clarity playback URL that has been captured as a dimension within Google Analytics, and I'll show you what I mean. So if I go down to behavior and I look at site content and I go to all pages. So if I go ahead and I'll just spread this out a bit, I'll go from the start of July to today and go ahead and apply that. Now what that's going to do is it's going to show me the um, traffic, the pages that have been visited on this specific uh, sort of report that we're reviewing. And we've got the page right here. But what we can do is we can click on secondary dimension and I can type in clarity or the start of the word and I can click on that. And what it does is it adds a second dimension to um, this report so I can see the page and then I can see the clarity playback URL. Now some of them might be undefined and that is going to depend on if somebody's allowing cookies, that kind of thing. But what we've got is the ability to see where somebody's got an actual ID that's been assigned. Now there's a ton of different pieces of information here, but it's this second set of letters and numbers that is going to be that ID. So if I go ahead and I copy that and then I go back into Clarity and I add my um, filter and I'm going to go ahead and apply that and I'm going to go ahead and set out um, a different time frame again. So we'll go out to July to today. So I can see there that I've set my custom date range. I've added my Clarity user ID and I've gone ahead and I've applied it. Now what we're seeing is all of the recordings from that same person. Now, I don't know who they are. I don't know if it's John Smith, if it's Susan Jones, I have no clue. But that's the great thing is I can look and see what one specific user is doing on my site. And this is a great user. Love this person. <laughs> They're coming to my site a lot. Um, maybe it's me. Uh, <laughs> but what this has allowed me to do is it's allowed me to basically filter so I'm looking to see one specific user's experience. Now this is a great um, tool to use if let's say that you've put some new content on your site um, and you want to maybe ask people to go ahead and check out your site and do some tests for you. You can then go ahead and rather than them necessarily reporting everything back, you can go ahead and see their experience and actually see if they are running into any issues. We could add further filters to this and say, show me if there are any rage clicks or dead clicks, that kind of thing. So great feature, the ability to filter the data using the Clarity user ID. And again, remembering that that Google Analytics integration, even though it's not needed, it is extremely helpful to be able to actually easily find what somebody's user ID might be. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you think this is going to help you out? Will you start using this filtering by Clarity user ID? Let me know. Hi, I'm Megan Walker. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you learned something from it. If you don't want to miss out on any other content, you can go ahead and 
click on my face below to subscribe. And if you want to watch the next video, you can do that by clicking over here and go ahead and get started. Thanks again.